Wakey wakey Seatonauts. There's a brand new kid on the Cosmos block and that kid is called Say Network. And in this video, you're gonna be learning everything from A to Z in the next 10 minutes about the project and whether I think it's the next big thing or whether it's severely overrated. Chain Network is a general purpose layer one blockchain that is optimized for the exchange of digital assets. And if you've been subscribed to CryptoCito to this channel, then you've heard about Say Network long ago, a long, long time before anyone else talked about it, because we've been interviewing Jay, who is one of the founders from Say Network here on this channel. And back then we talked a lot about how Say is going to be this sector specific, optimized for trading kind of Cosmos build layer one. Well, now it seems like they have refined a little bit their vision and focus more on the general exchange of digital assets. And so far, Say Network has achieved remarkable results. For example, on their test nets, they had over 4 million users, but they also announced that there will be an airdrop for testnet users, which means that this number is actually highly inflated. Nonetheless, 4 million participating accounts, 150 plus teams that are building on Say, which is much more important, and also over 500,000 followers on Twitter, which always sounds like a meme, but in fact, if you look at engagement, they have extremely high engagement and a large reach. And also, especially since they announced a lot of partnerships, a lot of VCs and a lot of partners like Binance, for example, that obviously helped them boost engagement even further. They also have extremely high performance with 20,000 TPS and 250 to 600 milliseconds time to finality, which would make it the fastest chain in crypto. And if you want to learn about other fast chains in crypto, then go watch my video where I talk about this very recently. Now, if we look into the origin story in the team, I already mentioned earlier that I had Jay on this channel. You can also watch my interview with him right after watching this video. But the origin story is basically that Say Labs originally thought about building Say as a layer two on top of Ethereum. However, all of the current Ethereum layer twos use a centralized sequencer, which means no decentralization at all. And that's also one of the reasons, maybe the main reason why DYDX is moving away from Ethereum's L2 landscape and builds now also their own Cosmos layer one blockchain. The second problem that Say detected was throughput, since all Ethereum L2s and dApps on ETH, like Uniswap or OpenSea, share the same block space, which means it cannot scale. That's why they decided to build on the Cosmos stack, add more features to it and optimize this for the trading experience. What about the team? Well, the founders are Jay and Jeffrey, which you can follow right here on Twitter. Before you continue watching, thank you so much for subscribing to this YouTube channel. It really means a lot. Like this video, also share it with some of your friends. Also share this video on Twitter if you appreciate that type of content, if you find value in it. And now please enjoy the rest of the video. And in fact, they have a giant team with over 60 people, many of which are veterans from TradFi companies such as Robinhood, Goldman Sachs, or even from Google. Now, what is the problem that Say Network is actually resolving? And what is the product suite that they offer? The common misconception is that Say is nothing more than a DeFi chain because most people don't realize how universal trading is. The exchange of digital assets is general purpose. Most successful Web3 apps are rooted in trading and in asset exchange. This includes direct token trading apps or NFT marketplaces such as Uniswap or OpenSea, but also indirect trading apps like Metamask. However, trading depths on current L1s or L2s are slow or are sacrificing decentralization. So the end goal is really, which nobody has figured out yet, to build a centralized exchange like trading experience, but fully decentralized. And this is really what Say Network aims to become for different verticals and different categories within the crypto industry. Say Network eventually aims to resolve is in fact the exchange trilemma which is decentralization, capital efficiency, and scalability choose two. The question is, how do they achieve all these crazy stats? 
and the answer lays in their chain architecture. Sand Network, in fact, is a typical Cosmos SDK built, Tenement BFT, and IBC enabled chain. However, they implement a lot of features that make it so efficient. One of them, for example, is their twin Toro consensus, which successfully reduces the time to finality of say all the way down to 250 milliseconds, which makes it even faster than the very famous Sui, Aptos, and Solanas out there. Say's fully on-chain matching engine includes market-based parallelization, which allows smart contracts to run simultaneously and helps Say to reach 20,000 transactions per second. Also, they have the native matching engine, which helps them to scale and prevent bad MEV and front running. This engine uses frequent batch auctions, which aggregates all the orders in a block together at the end of the block, then executes them at the price. This FBA model prevents bad MEV, while off-chain flashbot style auctions will help capture and redistribute neutral or good MEV. Also, Say implements transaction order bundling, which allows Say's transactions to consist of multiple independent orders, which reduces gas cost for market makers and improves block space usage. And finally, Say also implements native price oracles, which means that Say network validators are required to submit price oracles. If they don't or submit bad data, they will be slashed. Applications such as decentralized exchanges, but also maybe an NFT marketplace that build on top of say infrastructure can leverage all these features and hence provide the best trading experience for the users. Now that we understand a little bit more about the backstory, the origins and the chain architecture of say, let's le actually look into their ecosystem. I mentioned at the beginning that say has over 150 teams already building but now let's actually look more closer into some of the notable projects in the Say ecosystem. If we take the DEX vertical, for example, we have Fortex protocol that really stands out. Fortex is a perpetual DEX that got acquired by SushiSwap. AMM DEXs, we have Astroport as well as SparrowSwap. And we also have an order book DEX with Simba Exchange. If we look at money markets, we have Aether protocol, other DeFi projects include Synther, which is an omni-chain synthetic protocol, and also Cargo, which is a predictions market. There's also an NFT marketplace called Mizu Market, which is the first native NFT marketplace on Say. In terms of gaming, there's also a lot of action there. For example, Double Chump, which is a dystopian party royal game, Fable League, which is an on-chain esports league, Questify, a play-to-earn platform on Say, Sensify, with which is a lottery protocol, and also Tanami, which is a Web3 game publisher. For L2s, we actually have Nitro, Nitro Labs, which is an optimistic rollup using Solana VM and uses Say as their settlement layer. Nitro aims to connect Solana dApps and NFTs to Cosmos, and Nitro is actually incubated by Say. In terms of which wallet to use, you can use native Cosmos wallets such as Kepler or Leap. I personally would never advise you to store your coins on a centralized exchange. So if you get an airdrop, if you participate also in the Binance launch chain, which I'm going to talk about in a second, then please set up your non-custodial wallet ASAP and start getting onboarded fully into the decentralized Cosmos world. In terms of liquidity alliance, many teams and market makers like GSR, Karen Labs, Skynet Trading, have committed to providing liquidity on Say, which overall brings deeper liquidity and hence a better trading experience for users. Now, enough about the ecosystem, the chain architecture and the technology. Let's look into what you're probably mostly excited about, which is the token. But before we talk about this, I must inform you that I am personally an angel investor into Say Network. And also with my validator Stexito, we're running a Genesis validator on Say, which means if you get your Say airdrop, your Say tokens, or if you just find anything here valuable that I'm doing, then feel free to delegate your coins to Stakesito. But now let's actually look into the Say token allocation. We can see that 20% of the Say supply actually goes to private sale investors, 3% go to Binance launch pool, 20% go to the team, 9% 
to the foundation and 48% of the total supply goes to an ecosystem reserve. Now, when it comes to an airdrop, the SAID team actually teased this twice. In fact, we also talked about this on my channel in my interview with Jay, teased publicly on Twitter, is that they will do an airdrop for three communities. The first community is the Solana community. The second one is Luna and the third one is Atom. They have been very reserved and haven't really published a detailed guide about who is eligible for the airdrop, what's the snapshots, what's the requirements. They also talked about an airdrop for testnet participants, which is also why there are so many accounts in the testnet. But personally, I'm looking forward to receive the Say airdrop, especially the Atom community has received a lot of juicy airdrops over the past couple of years. The most recent ones were Neutron and Archway. There's many more to come. Anyways, fundraising. Let's talk about this real quick. Fundraising, they had a VC round in August of 2022 where they raised 5 million US dollars. And then they had a strategic round for 30 million US dollars in April of 2023 at an $800 million valuation. Also, they're currently in the process of rolling out liquidity and bootstrapping the user base through the Binance Launchpad, of which 3% of the supply are distributed through Binance Launchpad over 30 days. So you can currently stake or farm, or I don't know how it's called, your BNB and I think it's TUSD and some others in order to get some say. Personally, I would not ape into this. I have not aped into this unless you probably have some TUSD laying around on Binance anyways. It might be smart to do that, but I would not recommend to now ape into BNB or TUSD just to get a small share of SAY tokens. But you have to decide it for yourself, obviously. Also, SAY has an ecosystem fund consisting of 120 million US dollars from different VCs such as Foresight Ventures, Multicoin Capital, Delphi Digital, jump and many more now that you have the entire picture from a to z about say network from the origin story all the way down to the tokenomics and the investors let's look into some of the competitors and also draw a conclusion now within cosmos i would say that the closest competitor to say network that's in production right now is injective and also if we look at what's coming we have DYDX that is launching sometime later this year in the next two or three months, that will also be in that race. Injective is a sector specific blockchain built for DeFi within fully on-chain order book, 25,000 transactions per second, and also has an L2 using Solana VM, which deploys on top of it by Eclipse. And outside of Cosmos, Say actually wants to compete with Ethereum, Arbitrum, Solana, and Sui to also bring more builders into the ecosystem. Now, as a validator and investor into Say Network, I'm obviously very bullish on the project. However, I also have some concerns. My biggest concern is that most of what I just talked about is unproven. A lot of this has been working in a tested environment, but now that we're entering the phase of the mainnet era. I think there will also be learnings. As always, when a brand new mainnet launches, it usually gets a lot of hype in the very beginning. So I don't recommend you to just blindly ape into this because it all sounds very really good. I would rather give it time to prove itself. I would rather see where can things be improved? How can I maybe even contribute? And how does Say Network fit into the competitive landscape of these sector specific blockchains out there. That said, I do think that Say also has a very strong ecosystem of partners and investors and VCs, which is something that you don't really see a lot in Cosmos, right? I think Cosmos has a very bottom up and more community oriented environment, which is amazing and has its benefits. But on the other hand, it also means that market makers, investors, and with it also then the talented developers and retailers are a bit more hesitant because they don't really see a lot of traction and narrative around it. So I'm very excited to see where the Say Network journey is going. If you have any feedback, questions, or concerns about Say, please leave that under this video. Go over on Twitter also and follow me there. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe and be good.